Hi. I want to give you an advice today. But first, let me tell you that I've been in the recruitment business for almost 20 years now. I love this business. It is so full of difficult challenges on a level where I have to dig really deep into myself, my thoughts, emotions, values, conceptions, and ideas. In my aspiration to be the best professional recruiter I ever can, I have been forced to reconsider positions that meant a lot to me. I work for Sprint, of which I am a co-founder. We are a consultant and recruitment company. Today we are 23 employees working together, trying to improve ourselves every day. Ten years ago, I realized that something was missing in my concept of how to be a great recruiter. I didn't have a distinct, sustainable definition of competence. We started looking for the answer to what competence really is. When investing in competence, what within the candidates should we focus on to achieve precision? And what should we not focus on? Not long ago, I held a lecture for 17 HR specialists working for a large Swedish company. And I asked them, how many recruitments do you think you all will be involved in during 2012? We summed it up to 80 new employees this year. And I asked them, what will the average salary be? And how long they expected this year's new employees to stay in the company. We did the calculation together and found that these 17 HR specialists this year were making investment decisions of up to almost 40 million euros. And that's when including only salary costs. They were surprised. No one had told them the level of their responsibilities or impact of their decisions. And I also asked them, if you are making investment decisions this year of up to almost 40 million euros, and probably at the same level the coming years, what is your strategy? How will you make sure that you have precision in your selection to maximize the return of the investments? They didn't have an answer. And actually, they are not alone. I meet this lack of awareness and knowledge everywhere. So why is that? Why is it that when it comes to investing in competence that we don't know how to be more specific and aware? Well, let me tell you my conclusion. That because we don't have a distinct, sustainable definition of competence. Since a few years back, I have one. And I will tell you how you can get one too. This definition of competence will improve the return when investing in competence. And it will also free the power of transparency, which is absolutely necessary to fully succeed in your leadership. This is my advice. Find your definition of competence. Let me help you start. First, on the general level, you need to be ready to reconsider and accept that there are no quick fixes. See competence as something reachable for all of us and also something we all can lose if it's not possible to move into and away from it is not competence. 
sees competence as something internal. For example, experience, knowledge, personal traits, motivation. If it's external, it is not competence. For example, gender, looks, age, ethnicity, and so on. This definition of competence will enhance the precision when you invest in competence or whenever you are judging or evaluating people. It will also bring the power of transparency. Try it. Thank you. <laughs>